It's hard to reach adulthood without at least one broken bone. But how cool was it to go to school with a plaster cast? Everybody wanted to sign it. And there was always one guy, oh, I don't know, let's call him Kevin from third period, who ruined it with a creepy drawing that you had to walk around with for a month. Well, now plaster casts are pretty much a thing of the past. And soon, a broken arm can make you look like a superhero. So take that, Kevin. Anyone who's suffered a broken bone knows the worst part isn't the pain, but what follows. Weeks of enduring that itchy, stinking, annoying cast. But this new plastic spiderweb-like cast turns your broken limb into a fashion statement. Osteoid is a customizable 3D printed medical cast that uses low intensity ultrasound pulses designed to make the healing process much faster. Osteoid was created by Turkish industrial designer Deniz Karasahin. I spoke to him from his office in Istanbul. Denise, thanks for joining us today on Innovation Nation. My pleasure, my, I'm a big fan of the show. How exactly does osteoid work? Well, uh, first of all, it's a 3D printed splint, so it's a personalized 3D printed structure, which is basically for stabilizing the limb or any part of the body. But while replacing an orthotic, it also enables the body to breathe because we added some ventilation holes and keep the body accessible so that the patients who are wearing them can take a shower so that it's less of a torture to wear it. What improvements have you made since the first osteoid prototype? I thought, you know, why can't I use these uh, 3D printed structures as hubs for wearable technologies, not just as splints? Meaning, for instance, we can combine therapeutic stimulation, such as ultrasound stimulation to heal broken bones faster, or electrical muscle stimulation to help up with general muscle loss. Although osteoid is still in the clinical trial phase, Denise hopes someday it could help people suffering with chronic diseases like cerebral palsy. We have this idea to uh, embed a microprocessor and some sensors inside the splint so that uh, it can tell us the spasms in the body and, it, in, and in time we can see how well the patient is reacting to physical therapy. I have to ask, has Spider-Man contacted you about stealing his thunder? <laughs> Not yet. Thanks, Denise, and good luck. Uh, my pleasure, Mike. Thank you very much.